Yes guys, it's Phil Vowell. welcome back to the channel. Today, Chelsea 2, Aston Villa 2, um, review. Um, no, obviously I was at the game, if you, if you guys have seen the vlog. Whoa, I mean, it's kind of an emotional game. A bit of a roller coaster, but welcome to Chelsea, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm happy we didn't lose, if I'm going to be honest. Um... Do I think the expectation is to beat Villa? Honestly, at the moment, no. Um, do I think we definitely, if we didn't just concede two goals early and just play absolutely dreadful for the first 45 minutes, like like, Pochett like Pochettino, even 10 times worse, if we didn't play like a bunch of people that don't know how to play football, if we didn't play that in the first place, we probably would have won. But it's a thing now. I'm going to be positive today, but you, you've always got to state it when you see these comebacks like this is that you've got to try not to dig yourself a hole in the first place because to be honest I would say generally we were unlucky we didn't win however if we're gonna, we're going to be unlucky and if you can't not concede two goals in the first 45 minutes of football then I mean, it was going to happen however how we won is very different to what I've seen recently but I'm buzzing and I really am and yeah, it feels good to win, doesn't it? Well, not to win, but to not lose. Arsenal way was the worst. Oh. Now, when I talk about this and when we don't lose, especially when we draw, it just makes me think, all these sacrifices we've done, and I keep mentioning it, but honestly, I, it should be keep mentioning because it's, like, I'm so happy we didn't lose. Look! Am I going to say I was Pudge Moskos? No, he just wasn't. These players just chose to turn up once every eight years. It might happen from now on, but we'll take it when it comes. Um, it weren't a manager Moskos. I, f I thought, think if it weren't for Pochettino's like, amateur decisions, we wouldn't have been too you know, down in the first place. I do, I do think we would have been down, maybe by one goal. But if you look at it, how many chances they had in the first half, Really, they probably should have had an extra one or two. And to be fair, I'd probably say similar for us as well. We, we like, I feel like is what I'm seeing recently is we're making chances, but we're not really converting them. I thought Villa got very unlucky on a couple of opportunities, but like we got unlucky. The ref screwed us over a little bit. The last goal, people were saying it was an outrageous decision by the ref. As much as it's much more easier as a Chelsea fan that sees us lose every week and hear it every day at school for me to go, oh, it's a restful come on now. Like, it is. I mean, I, f I think the ref probably gave the right decision, if anything. I do think there was a couple of free kicks, um, especially sort of first half, second half as well. I'm not talking about the last thing at the minute, but that probably should have been given, but even if we got them, would we have ended up winning? I mean... Probably not. Um, yeah, I want to talk about Palmer's performance. I thought he wasn't great. However, I just want you guys, if you can see one clip, I just want to the first half here because that's what I want to focus on. I don't know what happened in the second half. Just look when Palmer receives the ball. He's actually got a half decent first touch where everyone else in the squad haven't. So, obviously, I don't know, I don't think I've talked about this that much, but obviously Enzo is going to be out for a little while. I've heard you know, I wish him all the best. Um, do I think it's in terms of football side? Do I think he's it's gonna impact us a lot? I mean potentially, but then then again, I don't rate Gallagher, but I don't think Endo and Saicedo are really playing great well together. Now onto Saicedo, people were saying he did, he did very good tackles and he had good urgency, but. Come on now, please guys, stop saying this guy's amazing because he's really not. And to be honest, he's probably worth 80 mil at best. Which is still a lot. And now, and obviously because of Mark here CDMs, you've got to see why we paid more for him. If you've got any clue about football, you should know that he's going to be more expensive than someone of his quality in another position. It's how the market goes, it's how football goes. And if you love football as a sport, you have to, you have to realise that. But... He, but I just want to give him, I, I'm very critical of him, and I think I'm going to probably continue to do it if you don't change, but I want to give him a bit of credit because some of the tackles, the urgency I saw from him past him was good. I mean, it usually is quite decent, I would say. But was it was, I mean, it was absolutely fantastic. And to be honest, 
He reminds me of Kante a bit, but I've got a feeling with him, and it's with a lot of players. He's, I love, if he can do that every game, then yeah, I'll happily take you, and I'll take you over Declan Rice all day long. However, if you can do it well in five games, and yeah, not great. I'd much rather play like Declan Rice over you. But, so I thought, so I say, oh, it probably is a waiting game. Would I say go and replace him? No, I mean, I think there's, we should have much more concerns, to be honest. Um, if someone offered me Declan Rice instead of Stade said, oh, or, you, or probably or more of a top player, I definitely would take it. But in reality, we should probably keep him for another year in there, something epic comes up. And then, yeah. Um, but, yeah, was Villa good? I thought they were very average, and I thought, like, the counter attacking football they can play from United Emery can be very devastating, and it, did, and it got us. I didn't see the second goal because my dad wanted a drink and I wanted a chocolate bar because I was just drained from the football. I think I don't think many people stayed for the second goal, but I I could sort of imagine it was just probably a counter attack goal. But like Villa, I think of the games that I've seen, put the home games to side, the away games haven't looked great. Yes. We can see they can devastate you, can't attack it. But I feel like Villa, one of the things where you can tactically outplay him. However, if you're just lazy and players don't try, they're just going to do you. I feel if it weren't for Saicedo, it probably could have been at least 4 2 yesterday. But not, yeah, when the game happened. I filmed it one or two days late, um, which is my bad. Um, it'd been filming lots of content. I want to apologise for the lying because I know it's so bad. I need to get some curtains for these uh, windows, but I haven't got around to it. And I haven't put any of my LEDs on because it's so bright. I don't think it looked good. Um, well, yeah, I think that's just a review of the game. Um, there's going to be lots more content out today. Lots more. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Save our club. I'm always going to say that until we actually finish half decent. Save our club. And thank you for not losing. Um, Potch out still. Potch out and goodbye.